Hello, everybody. We are back here on Call of the Wild, the Angler, and this week, Sidewinder is in a really easy spot. This is one of the places where you can find him the easiest out of all of his different locations, so take advantage of this while you can. The starting outpost is just up here, and you just have to go south of it on the same lake down to this spot, and that's where Sidewinder will be. You know, recently I've heard of a lot of people using a bottom fishing setup with the strongest possible rod reel and line that they're able to obtain and then slapping on a uh, large hook like a 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, and then using the artificial corn. And this will work perfectly fine for Sidewinder, but personally I like using a even heavier setup. So I would recommend that if you have access to the Grohir X as well as the True Mediator and the 99 pound braid, probably use that instead as this is going to help you get him in a lot faster. But obviously these are both souvenir shop items and they're quite expensive so I don't expect everybody to have them yet. But as you can see the spot that Sidewinder's in this week is not nearly as large as some of the areas that he can be in. I'm sure you guys have all seen him be in this spot and man this is a tough spot to get him in. Same with this one over here. Both of these you can be there for hours before you hook into Sidewinder. So it is nice that we actually get a chance to fish for him in a much easier location. So we're just going to cast out with the four-odd uh, jig head as well as the large worm. We're going to let it sink all the way to the bottom because I think Sidewinder is still a bottom lurker if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Is he a bottom lurker? Yes, it does look like it. Yeah, bottom lurker and hard fighter. So that means that he is going to be near the bottom. So you definitely want to make sure that you keep your lure near the bottom. That way you're in his strike zone for the longest possible time. Typically when using this setup, I like to do the jigging motion. So for me, it says hold space bar. I believe it that should be the default keybind for everybody. Uh, depending on the platform you're on, it'll show you in the bottom left. So just follow whatever it says in the bottom left to do jigging and just do that. And he usually will bite quite well using the jigging motion with the large worm and four out. You know, Sidewinder actually used to require you to reel in pretty fast for him to be interested in your lure, but they took that trade away from him um, a few months ago, and it's made it a lot easier to catch him. You no longer have to be ripping it in at a four or five speed just to get his interest. Now you can reel in at a normal two or three speed and be perfectly fine. There we go. We got him. We got Sidewinder on, and oh my gosh, he is ripping out drag, man. He is ripping that line out. We may be here for a little while. Sidewinder is a tough one to catch. Very tough to get this guy in. Now, be sure that when you're fighting him to pump your rod, it really does reduce the amount of time that it takes to catch them. It helps tire the fish out faster. So always be pumping that fishing rod. We're at a bit of a standstill with him now. It's hard to say like how long that's going to last, but we're currently at a standstill. Oh, there it goes. There he goes, ripping out line again. Uh, you gotta love Sidewinder. One of the hardest fights in the entire game. This fish is just a tank, man. It's an absolute tank. We're gaining a little bit of ground on him. And there it goes. It's it's all gone instantly. Just <laughs> all of it. <laughs> okay, so we've got him under 90 feet. Uh, he's probably gonna take one more run. Yeah, there he goes. This is the most ground we've made on him this entire time, though. So we are making progress. Honestly, this might end up being one of my fastest fights with Sidewinder ever. I'll have to go back to the two previous videos I made on him and see if I got one that was quicker than this because, I mean, he's coming in very fast. I think we're about to get him 20 feet away. I think we're about to see Mr. Sidewinder and of course he runs at the last second. I spoke too soon, but I think that actually, nope, there's another run. Man, I got to stop talking. Every single time that I start to say something, he takes more line out. Gosh, he's diving straight down. He literally just dove straight down. That's crazy. Gosh, Sidewinder's just... He's got his second win, that's for sure. And my character's getting all kinds of twisted around trying to reel this dude in. Well, I don't think this will be the fastest I've ever reeled him into the boat in because, uh, yeah... He's got very stubborn here at the end, and of course he's going to run again. It just never stops. Hopefully this actually will be his last run, though. It's kind of looking like it, but I'll probably jinx myself. No, no, no. We got him. We got him. 
There he is. Let's get him in. Sidewinder is ours. One hundred and ten pounds. And because there's double XP going on right now for, I believe, one more day, I think by the time I post this video, there will either be one day left or it'll be over already. But because we got double XP, I just got 2,000 experience for catching Sidewinder instead of 1,000, which is amazing. You'll love to see it. This guy is just a beautiful beast of a fish. Like, it doesn't get any better than landing this guy in Call of the Wild, the Angler. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like down below. Remember, you will have to catch this guy before the 17th at, I believe, like 5 or 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you can do the conversions for whatever your time zone is. But I believe that is how long he's going to be in rotation still. But let me know if this helped you down in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.